Hi there, this is Devin Kearns from Solana Week. Today we'll be talking about hard code anodized, some of its characteristics, applications, some specs, and what Solana offers as far as hard code anodized goes. So let's dive right in. So the first thing you'll notice about hard code anodized is it's typically black in color, and it's also anodized at a lower temperature, and that's to prevent the burning that's often associated with hard code anodized because it's run at a higher voltage and higher ASF. Um, which translates into much more wattage being put on the part. So to really control that, it needs to be run at a lot cooler of a temperature. Despite that, many anodizers are frustrated by hard coat anodizers and don't typically get good results. That's why it's more of a specialized anodized spec, I would say, uh, generally. Um, the next thing you'll notice is it doesn't accept dye very well. If you've ever tried, uh, tried to dye any hard coat anodized, it, it just doesn't usually turn out well. And that's for a variety of reasons, including the pore size, uh, the thickness, and stuff like that. But uh, one that, that does work pretty well is black dye. Typically works pretty well on hard coat because it's already black. So it just gives you this darker, richer black color when you dye it typically. The um, other than that, gold dye also works somewhat well if you control the thickness. So it's great for outdoor applications, and it's uh, no surprise why. It features very high wear resistance and really good corrosion resistance. Typically, the dielectric strength, which is also a feature of it, is more um, applicable to um, semiconductor equipment, which we'll touch on in a second. So the last thing is it can be a lot thicker than your traditional clear coat anodized. Instead of half a mil to a mil, this can be anywhere for two to three mils, even five mils, depending on the alloy, such as 5052, you can run up really high. So some applications. Uh, so you, you'll get your traditional military usage, such as weapons, a lot of aerospace applications as well under that. Um, and then the other traditional one is gonna be your outdoor products. And that's going to be temp poles, hiking poles, basically anything that needs some structural reinforcement that's going to get banged up a lot. So um, chairs is another common one. If you look at those really high end camping chairs, they're all going to be featured in hard coat anodized to make sure that when they're getting tossed around, they're not going to become damaged. And the last application is semiconductor equipment. This is predominantly what we do uh, beyond the military stuff. Um, this is going to go into your etching chambers and because of that high dielectric strength, it's going to function much better and uh, yeah, much better than your clear coat would in the same situation. So um, com com common specs are going to be mil A865 type three, various aerospace specs and customer defined specs. And those are, there's just too many to list, but those are gonna be your prominent ones. Uh, the aerospace specs, you're going to see a lot of Boeing, a lot of Lockheed and stuff like that. And then if you just want like a general purpose spec, typically mil A865 type 3 is going to be requested. And that's going to be further broken down into class 1, which is no dye, and class 2, which is a dyed application. So just to give a quick overview of some of the stuff that we offer, as far as uh, hard coat goes, we're going to offer mil spec or customer defined spec. Uh, predominantly, like I said, if uh, somebody comes into us and they're just like, hey, anodize this hard coat, we're going to usually give it the mill spec, which is a great general purpose spec. And then if there's a customer specific spec, which we probably, I would say probably 75% of what we do is customer defined, then that's going to be anodizing according to whatever those specifications are going to be, which is not a problem at all. Next, we have gold dye or black dye. As I mentioned uh, earlier, it's going to be Black dye is going to work. Gold also works to a limited extent. And you're going to DI seal those if it's your traditional um, non dyed applications. So, such as just the class one for the mill spec, which is going to be a no dye application, you're going to DI seal that. It's going to be a nickel acetate seal if it's a dyed application. And as I mentioned, three plus mill uh, thickness capabilities, just depending on what's needed. And then we're also developing a new process, which allows us to get extremely high dielectric strength, which is mostly 
been used by research labs so far and um, some semiconductors are taking interest in this as well but the, basically the idea is if you have an application that needs really high dielectric strength uh, we can't offer that so that's a quick overview of hard coat and some of the stuff we offer if you want to get in touch feel free to visit our website send us some prints and we'll be happy to quote the job